Hey guys, Laura here with the Artisan Studio, and today I'm going to do the Mary L. Tarot Review. Uh, this is by Mary White and publication through Schiffer. This is an amazing deck. I've seen a few reviews on it uh, with the people that I follow, and I fell in love with it. At first when I saw it, I thought, oh my gosh, that's too... Too out of the box for me, you know, I'm not going to be able to read with it, and I was all worried because it would just, I was worried that it would just sit there. I love the art, but I was so worried, but um, I have to say, uh, I don't know if it's just because I, I became more comfortable with tarot or what it is, but through my journey, uh, you know, it kept popping up and resurfacing, and I decided to, to get it because I just fell in love with it again and um, now it's here. So I'm super happy to have this. This is the box that it comes in. It is amazing. Like, Look at that. That is some serious boxage right there. Um, and this is part of a card that's on the in the tarot. Um, so this box opens here. I'll just kind of do like a little mini review of the the box first. I, I took everything out. But this is kind of like the deck sits in here and then you get your guidebook. But this box is seriously um, amazing because what you can do, I, I had to read for a festival. I was invited to do one. Uh, it was really cool. It was a medieval festival. But I was like, man, I don't know what decks I want to bring. You know, I wasn't uh, familiar with this one, so I couldn't bring that one. But um, I wanted to bring a few different, just in case, spur in the moment, depending on the person. So what you can do is you can actually take this uh, insert. There's like a little thing here, and it pops right out. Then you have room to fit a whole bunch of decks in there, which is really sweet. You know, this is about an oracle size for a card, and then I was able to get like a good four or five decks in here for sure, possibly even six, I can't remember exactly, but oh my gosh, so yeah, it was a wonderful traveling case, so highly recommended to use this box for that, it was sweet, and then the magnet, you know, kept it closed, so it wasn't an issue um, with the decks like falling out or anything, and uh, you know, it's a good thickness, so they're not bouncing all around, so it's an absolutely perfect box for traveling. All right, so now to the deck. Well, wait, wait, wait. I'll show you the book. The book here, nice big thick book, Landscapes, Landscapes of the Abyss. Look how thick that thing is. Now this book is a really good book actually. Uh, let's see, 192 right there for pages. Um, everything is very long, but she does give um, a fair amount of write-ups for all the cards. Like there's there's a fair amount of write, uh, reading to do with these. Um, you know, and some of the cards even have like little poems or sayings in the front. You know, that's really cool. Uh, let's see if I can find one. Oh, this looks like a poem. Yeah. So so there's so much juicy bits and like it's so creative. Um, very surreal imagery. So, you know, once you get past the surreal, like I love surreal art. So that's kind of my cup of tea. Um, so, you know, sometimes it's not literally in the character that you want to look at, um, you know, the character, like, what is this creature, you know, you want to kind of more look at what it's doing, you know, that kind of thing, so you can kind of see um, what's going on in here. Uh, structure of the tarot, there's there's some more juicy bits there, major arcana, minor arcana, um, and yeah, then we go right in. And this is a uh, system, um, like, it does all the majors. And then when you get to your minors, see it goes twos, so then twos, everything's in the twos. Then you go to the threes, everything's threes, everything's fours. So it does all the suits in the fours. So that's kind of how this book is structured. It's really good. It doesn't go into detail, detail about the cards, like why certain um, features of the characters were chosen or anything like that. But the the description does give a really good understanding, like a sense, an aura to um, an understanding of what the card means. Um, yeah, so that is the handy book. Now... I haven't shown you this yet, the deck, because I trimmed it. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, <laughs> um, I didn't show you the re the deck reveal or anything like that while it had the borders, um, just because I couldn't. I was so excited just to get her trimmed like right away because I found, you know, I really debated over it first. But I found that the cards were just too cumbersome for my hands. My hands are kind of smaller. Uh, look at this. Oh my god, the detail, the colors. They are gorgeous. Oh, so, and I found, actually, I did a spread. Now, this was the biggest kicker for my decision of trimming. When I threw out a basic Celtic cross. Oh yeah, there's nudity. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Um, I did a basic Celtic cross, and I found all the borders stuck out more than the actual, because uh, it was a very thick black border. It actually stuck out over um, the rest of the image. So, like, the, there was there was an aspect of the image that was lost, and that is so sad because, like, like that's gorgeous. Like, holy crap. <laughs> so, yeah, I needed to get those borders off fast. I <laughs> couldn't wait. So, yeah, you're getting to see the trimmed version of the Marielle Tarot. Now, I haven't seen anyone else do this. Maybe uh, they just haven't wanted to. For me, like, I found it hurt my hands to even shuffle it. I really wanted to use this deck. I want to use this deck in um, readings, like, for other people. You know, I want it to be a functional deck, not just a collector's deck. So that was a big aspect. Also, I don't know if you can see, but, hmm, oh, there we go. There is a lot of laminate, like, kind of glossies on these cards. I don't find it, it bothers me in terms of the readings. It never is an issue. But um, when shuffling, the cards stick a little bit. So with the larger cards, because they're already clumsy to try and shuffle, because they're kind of like the size of an oracle card, um... And it's a thick deck, like the cardstock is fairly thick too. Um, I just found, you know, trimming it just made it easier for the shuffle as well as, yeah, stickiness, like it didn't stick as much. I could do a bridge with it now. It's about the same size as like a, a Rider weight now. So that's really good, but it's all image, so that's sweet. I kept the uh, bottom part, you know, just telling me what it is, because I'm not that familiar with the deck yet, so I definitely needed to keep that. And I probably will, for always. But So, in terms of meanings for this, I found actually some similar commonalities to the Rider Waite. Now, I don't want just something that's just another Rider Waite clone, and that's why I got this. I wanted it to push the boundaries, um, you know, of... now. I'm going to pause that. Take a look at this image. So so you have this woman and she's kind of got like the the holes. Now look at the bottom. She's she's walking over people. Isn't that so cool? Like whoa. That's like a whole bunch of people there. I don't know. I saw that and I was like, "Whoa, that's deep." There's some deepness to this deck. So, yeah. And and you can tell how deep it is even when you're you're reading the guidebook. I'm not going to for you right now because some of them are pretty lengthy in description. Um, but just know that this is a deep get deck. This is great for shadow work. Um, it's great for personal uh, personal discovery and uh, yeah, like even this whole idea of ascension and shift and new energies. Like this is a wonderful deck for this. Um, self-work kind of uh, building on the self. Now obviously that works really well too for reading for other people because there's a lot of people right now in terms for me anyways for readings I get uh, people that are really wanting to improve uh, you know the self right so they're trying to do self work so you know uh, this kind of deck would work really well for that so I need to get fine tuned for it and uh, that way I can start giving readings with this deck um, yeah it's amazing. I love the meanings of this as well. This has to do with Thoth, which is kind of neat. Um, and it's kind of like uh, after the High Priestess almost, like if you were to go behind the veil. <laughs> that's what I just I think that's so cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, very powerful images. Like you could just feel the strength on that. Ooh, it kind of gives me the willies a little bit. <laughs> 
<laughs> There's so much on this. Now this, this is so cool. Like the King of Swords. So at first I was like, oh, I don't know about this image. It's so weird. He looks so twisty and everything. But one thing that's really cool is he's got all these quills sticking in his head. Now look, as I bring it closer, can you see all the words? There's like handwritten words all around those quills and all around his body. That is cool. That is seriously coolness there. So, this is a 78 card tarot deck. It is the, you know, normal normal size deck. Um, like I said, good cardstock quality. There is nudity, so obviously if you have a person that you're doing a reading for with this and that has problems with that, not such a big fan, you might not want to use it. So, um, there it is. Look at that. For the eight of discs. I would do this longer, but I'm on a time limit with the uh, with being able to upload these videos, so I will leave it there. But holy man, this deck is amazing. It does uh, you can relate some of the uh, meanings to the Rider weight. So uh, if you're kind of fence sitting like I was, I definitely would go and get this deck. It is absolutely amazing and worth it. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.